So what is your attack strategy to get in there and actually get out of it what you're looking for? Well, you know, I think I'm going to take kind of that uh, ACL approach where you kind of map out everything and you know, at 2 o'clock I've got to be here, then I'm going to run over here with this and I think I'm going to rely on a lot of the friends that I have that have been there for a while. Um, Especially in terms of the parties, which parties to go to and everything. <laughs> I was just going to ask you, have you heard about the party scene as well? And are you prepared? Scene. I think I'm prepared. Um, <laughs> I know there's a lot of uh, free booze, but uh, I think I can handle it. <laughs> Got some good practice there. Well, do you have an idea then of some of the connections that you're hoping to make? I mean, have you heard about some of the people that are coming? And if so, who are they? Um... You know, I, I really don't have anybody that, in particular, that I'd like to see over anybody else. I kind of, you know, I like to use, you know, I like to use South by Southwest music to discover new bands. Um, I don't go see the big bands that come in town. Um, so that's really what I'm trying to get out of the interactive as well. I'm trying to find some new startups, some guys that have some new ideas uh, that I can get connected with. Oh, how many years have you gone to South by Southwest film and music? Uh, film and no, music, just about every year. Oh, you have? Yeah, just about every year. What, for like three years, well, ten for, years? Oh, no, since about 2000. So I moved, moved to Austin in, in 2000. Wow. And um, so, you know, that, that whole music scene was part of one of the things that, that drew me here. So I wasn't going to miss out on any of that. Well, what, I mean, have you noticed a change in how South by Southwest is run? And if so, what is that change? And are you expecting that with Interactive as well? Well, you know, the common, um, I don't know if it's a complaint or not, but it's just gotten so, you know, people like to keep things small. They want to keep it on the indie level. This town loves the indie level. And I know it's gotten really big, uh, but I think South by Southwest has done a really good job managing that and keeping it real um, at the same time. Uh, it hasn't been overrun by big labels just yet, I don't think. So there's still those uh, little gems that you can find playing some little bar on 6th Street uh, that you never heard of from Sweden or something like that. Um, and I, I, I would expect the same thing out of the interactive in film. So. When it's all said and done this year, what are, what are you hoping to take away? What's going to make you feel like you had a successful investment of your time? Um, you know, I think large events like this are a great opportunity for networking, but I think South by Southwest in particular um, offers a little bit more than that. I like the the interactive aspect of it. I like the, like I said, you know, the core conversations. I like the, the creative kind of cutting edge aspect of it to where, you know, I hope I walk away with this with some new insight as to, um, you know, kind of where technology is going, where, where my company plays a role. Um, and, uh, you know, if I can walk away with, with a kind of a clear vision of, uh, of the, the big, big picture, I think I, I, I'd be successful. And one more question for you. Given that you have lived in Austin, Texas now, you said since 2000. So what advice do you have for people who aren't from Austin, who are coming in for South by Southwest Interactive? What is your advice to them in terms of what they must do in Austin before they leave? Uh, Jenny's a longhorn for uh, chicken shit bingo. They got to do that. I don't even know what you just said. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? You go it's, to where? <laughs> it's a bar. Wait, what's it called? It's called Jenny's Little Longhorn. Jenny's Little Longhorn. And they play yeah. a version of bingo. <laughs> I feel like I'm in kindergarten. Where okay, they so use big, chickens. Yeah. And um, <laughs> this is probably going to get edited, so. <laughs> where they use chickens. This and is the you, stuff that won't get edited. Yeah. Everything else you said, which is really valuable, yeah, that'll part, get edited. Part, all that yeah, other and they'll keep stuff. all the. <laughs> um, so they, they, they use chickens, and you know the chickens. They have to relieve themselves, and hopefully, it's on your numbers, just like bingo. That is awesome. I I would imagine a lot of drinking is involved. Uh, is a lot of drinking. 
<laughs> and I can pretty much guarantee you've never seen that before. So that's something I think that only Austin has done. Yeah, I've definitely not only not seen it, I can barely even say it. So. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> Oh, well, Zach, thank you so much. Sure. So our one and, and maybe not only, but South by Southwest Interactive Virgin that we've been able to talk to and have join us here as we talk to people coming to South by Southwest Interactive 2010. Can't wait to see you there. And Zach, we look forward to learning more about Bidmoto there at South by Southwest. Thank you. Thanks very much.